Dance Dance Revolution. Recently, I decided to go to the local arcade. However, the local arcade is now at my local movie theater, which is pretty far away from my apartment. I decided against seeing Captain Marvel, and decided to play something rather marvelous from my childhood, one of the last bastions of gaming freedom. I wasn't surprised to see that this arcade, much like the movies, mimicked such crappiness. However, there was a diamond in the rough, and that diamond was Dance Dance Revolution. We're back at the arcade and we're going to take a look at what it's been reduced to. A pile of rubble from the ashes of the 80s and 90s. But there's still some good stuff here and I'm going to check it out. Just had some crazy video game sessions. It's been a while since I've been to the arcade. But Chad Hogan Live had to investigate the scene because when I hear there's an arcade in town, I gotta be the first to go there. I think this is pretty much the only arcade in town. So, here we are. Finally, it was time to take a look at the games. This was Big Buck Hunter. It reminded me of something out of King of the Hill or like the Kabbalah hunting series on console and PC. I'm not very good at shooting deer and I actually kind of felt bad for the animals. This is literally a murder simulator. Next to the murder simulator was a racing simulator. This was a game that reminded me of Super Hang On and it had the actual motorcycle with motion controls. Back in the 90s this game would have looked amazing. But now it just looks like something you'd find on cell phones. However, I had a lot of fun playing it until I crash and burn. <laughs> this fancy arcade game is called Basketball. You shoot the ball into the net and then the ball hits you in the face. It's a pretty violent game. Watch this three point shot that I ace. Michael Jordan, eat your heart out. Well, some things change and some things changer. The arcades are no more and it's kind of sad and kind of enlightening to come back to one of these things. I mean, the games are of crap selection, but it's got DDR, and that's good enough for me in any arcade. But uh, I'm kind of disappointed that half the games are, you know, those games that you play to win an actual prize. A true video game doesn't give you an actual prize. It wastes your time. This was some Japanese vending arcade game and where you can win an iPhone, except I doubt anyone actually wins the iPhone. This happy little machine is called a bank machine and it is a game where you can place a memory card in it and receive money. I, 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 I wasn't able to receive any money. This was a game called Plush and Ducks. It was kind of like the Japanese vending machine except instead of iPhones you collect ducks. I'm not sure what's in them but I didn't bother trying. What a crappy game. This happy little arcade unit stored two of the all-time greats, Galaga, a game which I was pretty good at, and Pac-Man, a game which I was not so good at. I never was good at Pac-Man, and I got a little frustrated along the way. Smithers, who is this Chad Hogan Live? He's just a Canadian from YouTube, sir. I'll be sure to unsubscribe to him immediately. Excellent. How long do we have before Master Chad Worthy returns? We have about 15 minutes, big boy. Excellent. That should be enough time to exchange data. Mamma mia! Got 
As I played Dance Dance Revolution for the first time in over a decade, the memories came flooding in. The crowds roaring, the women cheering. Okay, maybe that never happened, but we had a pretty good crew back in the day. I played with some friends and we played in little mini tournaments, although we never got too far. It's not like I was a seasoned pro, but over at my local mall, I was a king. I was a king at Dance Dance Revolution, and baby, it felt good. I felt like a rock star, and I got that feeling all over again. It was nice coming back here and I certainly will visit again, especially for that DDR machine. But the arcade just isn't what it used to be and today's kids could never understand what made them great in the first place. This is all that's left, reduced to a piling rubble of old tokens and movie theater popcorn. But still, I appreciate any arcade when I see him, and I'm definitely gonna have to check out more as Chad Hogan Live continues.